Right, so we all know that ChatGPT helps us produce content for SEO, but the hard part about it is that it doesn't produce content like this, right? Content with in article images, or so featured images, a table of content, internal links, in article videos, external links, right? In article images, uh, more in article images, more links, um, and all this, right? Doesn't doesn't produce content like this, right? It's hard. On top of that, it tends to produce generic content, right? So content that isn't tailored to a brand. And I'm going to show you why. And by the way, these are all AI generated. All the images, all the content, right? All this is 100% AI generated. So from the start, it's pretty cool. Uh, so again, ChatGPT doesn't produce content like this. With bullets, tables, in article images, in article videos, internal links, external links. It doesn't do that for you. Now, on top of that, it doesn't all, also produce brand tailored content. What I mean by brand tailored content is being able to essentially connect your brand right? Because your brand, let's say this is your brand, has, that's a B, has a bunch of assets associated with it. So these assets, right? These are all assets. An asset could be your YouTube channel, your brand's Twitter, your brand's Instagram, your brand's Pinterest account, maybe some written documents you've, you've written in the past and uploaded online, or maybe you haven't even uploaded them online. Maybe it's your PRD, your brand's ethos, your internal documents where you talk about what your brand is, what it stands for, its values. Maybe it's your documentation, right? That's public, but not indexed on Google. Uh, so all of these, right? All of these are your brand's assets, right? Essentially, your brand's assets is everything that is to know about your brand. And you as a founder, as, as an owner, know about all this, right? You're the most knowledgeable, knowledgeable person about your brand. Now, the issue with tools like ChatGPT is that they don't know everything about your brand, right? And so the good thing about this little tool, Journalist AI, which I'll link in the description, and the ability it has to generate content like this, uh, which is not only rich in features, right? Rich in, in this case, a featured image, an interactive table of contents, proper content, right? Why, why to start a garden, the benefits of gardening with a tailored video, not just to the article itself, but tailored to the section in which the video is included in, right? With bullets, with in-article images, with internal links, external links, with a call to action down here to your uh, products or services, right? Um, on top of that, the, as I was saying, the good thing about this tool is the content, right? All of this is based on your brand because what you do is you connect your brand with the journalist AI and your brand's assets, right? You connect your YouTube, your Twitter, you, you allow journalist AI to see those things, of course, in a safe way. And journalist AI now knows as much as you do as the owner, as it knows as much as you do about your brand. So essentially it's as if you have, as if you duplicated yourself and now you're able to generate content written content with images, videos, links, calls to action, as if it were you writing the content, right? Because now the AI knows as much as you do about your brand. And this is super cool, right? This is why this is much better than all the other tools out there and even ChatGPT. And of course, I'm a bit biased because I do own this tool. But on top of all that, you can just go here and click post to integration. And your integration could be any of these, right? Your integrations could be your WordPress site, it could be your Shopify store, Ghost blog, Wix blog, Webflow bloggers, Zapier, or even an external API if you like. Um, and on top of that, again, as I said, you can just publish them one by one to your integration. Just go here, click view, click publish, next, click publish, or you can just go a step further and click publish all to integration. This is not allowing me because there's still a third generating, so I just click here and publish all three. Or on top of that, you can just go here to autoblogs and set up a new auto blog. And what this will do is essentially you're connecting Journalist AI with your blog, right? This could be Shopify, WordPress, all those. And Journalist AI is gonna be producing individual blog posts every single day. These are individual blog posts, by the way, every single day, week, month, hour. If I expand on one of these, right? This is a blog post right here. All these blog posts are gonna have featured image, a table of contents, in article images, in article videos, internal links, so linking out to other pages on your site. So these will interlink between each other, right? Maybe the blog post will interlink between each other, maybe link out to your homepage, your contacts page. Uh, external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche. For example, if this article is about finance, we're gonna link out to Investopedia. We're gonna link out to TechCrunch, maybe Wikipedia sometimes, right? And also a call to action down here. We're gonna link out to your products or services. For example, if you have a Shopify store, we're gonna link out to the products you're selling, right? If you have a, a service-based business, we're gonna link out to your service offerings. So. All this on autopilot, and you can set up the frequency here. You can just do 60 articles every single week if you'd like, or up to 300 articles every six hours, right? Most people just do five articles every week, but you can choose the frequency on however you like. Now, on top of that, right, 
what, what is more is we allow you to index the content with a click. So you, you go here to indexers, create a new indexer, and all the content that journalist is generating is going to automatically submit to Google to get it indexed faster. Now, even more is we allow you to do the keyword research. So if you just go here, set up a keyword monitor, it's going to pick up, based on my URL, based on the competition, based on all that, keywords that I, sh I could be writing content for that have low difficulty, so they're easier to rank for, and they have somewhat uh, significant monthly searches. So journalist AI, at the end of the day, it connects with your site. It does the keyword research for you. Then it's going to generate the content for you. Then it's going to publish the content for you all on autopilot. So that's the real, real power of journalist AI. And now again, on top of that, as I said before, if you set up a brand right here and you connect your brand's assets with journalist, journalist AI will know as much as you do as the founder of the brand about your brand. So the content that's going to be producing is going to be brand tailored. It's going to know your brand's mannerisms. It's going to know your brand's tone of voice, the way it speaks, the way it communicates with your, your audience, right? The images it uses, right? You can have content generated with only your um, brand's images, right? So that's the true power of journalism. So it's essentially having you as a founder duplicated and having you write written content for your blog. That's sorry, super powerful. And that's why Journalist AI is the best tool out there. I'll leave a link for this in the description because I think the best way for you to actually uh, understand why it's good is for you to try it out, right? Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. You have access to three free articles. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you don't like it, let me know. There's a, a chat bubble down here on the, on the website. So if you don't like the articles, click here and just let me know. I hey, I didn't like the articles Vasco. They suck because of this. And we'll improve it, right? Because this is a continuous improvement. But yeah, so let me know what you think. This is super, super powerful tool. If you're using ChatGPT, and if we think, I always like to pr provide this analogy. If you're using ChatGPT, right? That's money up there. If you're using ChatGPT, you're starting from up here, right? If you're doing it all manually, you're starting from down here because you have to figure out what keywords you want to target. Uh, you have to actually write the content and find the images to post and find the videos and do, find the internal links, find the external links, figure out where to add the anchor text to. So there's so much work. With ChatGPT, it kind of does some of these things for you, mainly, mainly the content generation. So you start from up here. With journalists, you skip all of this and start from up here. Because again, the articles with journalists are brand tailored in your brand's voice, have already the featured images the tables of contents, the in-article image, the in-article videos, the tables, the bullets, the internal links, the external links, the call to action, all of this done automatically for you. So you skip the line up here. You skip all these steps. So you are just one or two steps away from, I guess, quote unquote success. So that's it. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.